Uh, this is our uh, 45 foot resp uh, response boat medium. Uh, this is our go-to boat for anything offshore or uh, uh, boat fires and, and what have you. And especially uh, any kind of boats that have a, a large number of personnel. Uh, this is our back deck. Uh, this is where we use, uh, this is where we do our towing. And there's our tow bit here. And uh, anytime we're going to recover personnel as well, uh, ring buoys, uh, throw bags, uh, heaving lines, and what have you. That is our uh, P6 pump. Uh, that's what we use to dewater boats and uh, 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 fight fires with our, our fire water as well. Uh, tow reel up to 300 feet, uh, so we can tow uh, uh, many uh, uh, different size size boats out there um, ranging from big yachts to small little guys like your uh, 20 footers and whatnot uh, and here's where we have the crew uh, mostly uh, during the time uh, we got our, uh, our, our navigator seat he's gonna have some uh, nautical charts out plotting our positions every uh, so often uh, we got two stations here um, so the, the uh, boat driver the coxswain can drive on either side there's two modes there's transit mode that goes forward and aft and then we have docking mode, which is what you just saw. We can go sideways, diagonal, and, uh, and, all, and uh, any which way. Uh, comms, uh, we use VHF channels and uh, UHF, uh, channel 16 and whatnot. This is our uh, nav navigation um, uh, package. Uh, we have both on both sides uh, where we upload routes and uh, and put in positions of uh, last known uh, position of persons or vessels. Uh, down here is our survivor's compartment. This is where we uh, have most of our rescue equipment. We have our, our uh, stokes loader here where we recover uh, cautious personnel or personnel who are very injured in the water. We lower this down and we rescue a surface swimmer out there and uh, get them in. Uh, it's retractable. We have uh, this locker here, we have many items, pillows, blankets, lines, uh, uh, emergency blankets, uh, first aid kit, what have you. Obviously we got the retractable seats for uh, any time we recover personnel. Um, and uh, we have our pyrotechnic locker here where we have our many flares uh, for nighttime operations to uh, find personnel in the dark and also our smoke signals as well. Um, in here in the head, it's a head one, but we have most, uh, a lot of our gear here uh, for helicopter operations. When we recover personnel we ha and we're too far out and time is really a factor, we get a Coast Guard helicopter to come pick them up using their, uh, their hoist basket. And our mini gear, our helmets and our uh, grounding wands and uh, goggles are in here as well. And that's about it for down here. Uh, this is our 29-foot uh, uh, response, uh, response boat small, uh, two, phase two, actually. Uh, two twin uh, Hondas, uh, 225 horsepower. Uh, this is our back deck, much like the 45-footer. This is a lot smaller version. 150 foot of a tow line. This is our tow post, our uh, ring buoy with our marker light and throw bag. And uh, this is going to be our main boat that we do uh, uh, port waterways, coastal uh, uh, security, uh, escorts for the cruise ships and whatnot, and any kind of counterterrorism activity. Um, seats up to four, uh, 10 people actually, uh, four seat, five seats actually. And in here, it gets really cramped. These are a lot smaller. Uh, navigator uh, seat here, uh, master right here. This is where the guy drives, where I drive. Uh, twin throttles obviously and um, it's just pretty much it's your most standard Coast Guard boat it can't get more standard than this uh, not a uh, Cadillac like the 45 footer but this one's still pretty much fun to drive um, and uh, down here in the cuddy cabin our, uh, we have our first aid kit spotlight just your basic stuff uh, air horn canister uh, uh, flashlights and our tow mask when we're towing personnel. And up here in the bow, got our uh, anchor, uh, more mooring lines, and other uh, things we need to, uh, you know, conduct the mission. That's the 29.